Blender introduction. So this is going to be as about as high level as Blender as you can get. Um, so what is Blender? So Blender is essentially the de facto standard in 3D modeling. If you're going to do just about anything in 3D modeling, it's going to be in Blender. What's great about Blender is it's free. It's an extremely powerful tool. Um, you even have like uh, Pixar Entertainment, Disney, they even do a lot of Blender work to create like characters for movies and, and stuff. Uh, a lot of concepts, it can be used in architecture, so many things. Um, I bet we were using 1% of its capabilities in what uh, we do with course building. There's just so much. It's really a fun tool if, if it's something you, you would decide to embrace. The outcome of Blender, what we use it for, is ultimately we're going to take our Inkscape shapes uh, we're going to take our terrain and we're going to form those two dimensional Inkscape, that SVG file and those shapes. We're going to conform them and make them into a 3D shape. Remember, I, I referred to earlier as a piece of paper. A piece of paper normally is flat. We're going to bend it and warp it in order to fit our terrain. So that's what the main thing that Blender is going to do. However, uh, as part of Blender, uh, DPR made, and uh, with the help of Sting and John Meyer, uh, created uh, what we call the OPCD tools. And those tools, it's code that runs inside of Blender to help automate a lot of these tasks. So you could do everything we're about to do uh, natively in Blender. It would just take a lot of Blender knowledge to do it and it would take a lot more time. So in other words, we've automated a lot of that you know, for you. Um, so you need limited Blender knowledge However, if you can elevate your Blender knowledge, you can take these tools, to me, to the next level, okay? So they will help speed things up, but it's going to elevate your mojo, and you're going to be able to do some really cool things uh, beyond, uh, you know, and get yourself some really custom looks. And I'll show you that kind of what you can do in a second here. So my suggestion would be, um, at some point, um, learn Blender. Um, I took a Udemy course, which was fantastic. I think it was like 20 bucks. It wasn't that expensive. It was very in depth. I learned a lot. Some of the stuff I'll probably never use for course building. Um, and a lot of stuff I did. Um, I ended up using a lot of it to build my own buildings and mansions and clubhouses and factories. I'll show you a couple of those. There's also a lot of free stuff on YouTube. It's just not organized as well, in my opinion. It's more sporadic. And then also some other people have found some free courses and I try to find find them, but ask on Discord, say, hey, where are some good free courses if you don't wanna pay? I thought the Udemy one was great. Um, however, well, I'll show you here in a second. Um, just some other knowledge. Uh, the OPCD tools that, that were created here require Blender 331. Um, I think 332 is out now and newer should work. Um, if you want to be safe, just use Blender 331. We're going to go through the install in another video. Um, but if you're a little, you know, you want to try the newest, go for it. And it would be great if you let us know if, if like 332 or 3, if 333 is out or something else, let us know if it works. Okay. So that would be very helpful. Um, we'll go through the install, but really the only thing additional you're going to need are a couple plugins and they're very easy to, they're called loop edit and loop and mesh edit. Uh, I'll show you how to install those in a subsequent video as well. And now it used to be in the old version of the tool V3 that you had to download the tools and install the tools, but now they're included in the mesh file. So when you submit your SVG, they go up in the cloud and you're going to be given a mesh file. This will make much more sense later on. Those tools are given to you, so they're always up to date. So you're always going to have the latest OPCD tools in uh, that are included with the mesh file, which will, which will then automate the subsequent steps. And don't worry, we're going to go through all this. It might be a little confusing now, but it'll make sense later on. So if you want to take a course, this is the course that I took, um, and it's been kept up to date, which I really liked as well. So they've they've updated it several times. So you see the last update was November last year. So that's like four months ago, five months ago from now. Um, and I actually want to go through some of the updated stuff they add. But this is the course I took. Again, I think you can, a lot of times you can get them on sale. Um, so I think it was like 20 or 30 bucks. So I understand that sometimes money is tight for people, but this is the course I took in case anybody is interested. And no, I don't get a commission on doing this. You can see it's 13 hours. Okay, it is a lot. Um, at a minimum, you know, take the first couple modules. Uh, it's really going to help you out. So just to give you guys a peek on some of the things that you can do in Blender. So let me just show you, first of all, so I am in Blender now, okay? This is actually a 
a clubhouse. This is actually the Milton Hershey Mansion. Uh, so he founded the Hershey Chocolate Company, and this is the mansion that's on his. This is where he lived, and it is on the golf course, right on the golf course, right in the There's like a hole right in front of it. Um, the pink here is I actually have what we call a UV map, and it's referencing a file that has been moved. I just didn't feel like fixing it or finding the file. Not, not a big deal. That's why the, the windows are pink. Normally, they're going to have like window panes and stuff in them. Um, but you can see flying around here. I was even able to like take an image online of the stained glass windows and, and put them in here and, and actually bend them the fit. So that, that was pretty cool. No one's going to see it, but it's just the detail that I like. So that was one instance of things you can do in Blender besides course building. Um, then I also did, uh, again, the windows are... are I, the the texture for that is moved, so that's why it's getting this. I created from, so this is the the silos in the in Hershey where they used to store all the uh, nibs, the chocolate nibs for the factory. So just something else I did. I did everything in here from scratch. You can see it made it even look like a little rusty on the the things on the the, the machinery here at the top. And then here's another factory that I did for Hershey. This is actually a Hershey, this fact. This is the original chocolate factory. Um, it's closed. It's a historic site now, but you know I did the smokestacks, and this is on course as well. Um, and then just to give you an idea of what this ultimately looks like in course, uh, so this is the actual Hershey Country Club itself. Um, Milton Hershey's Mansion used to be the Country Club, but they converted that to a historic site several many years ago, and they built this Country Club instead. Um, there's like a recreational not a recreational a, uh, a like an entertainment like have wedding and banquets or a banquet facility over here these are replicas um, because of i learned blender i was able to make replicas of those um on the uh to make these look exactly the same as they do in real life and then also just to show you guys i showed you if you see way over here all the way down here by hole four um so there is the mansion you can see that looks much better now than it does. I've got the windows, the colors look good. So there's the mansion. Um, there's the hole that goes right in front of it. Uh, there's the factory over here. Uh, there is the, the silos here. They're more far, they're farther in the distance. This is actually the a ride at Hershey Park, but you can see it kind of uh, from the golf course. So I made that in Blender as well. And these houses, I didn't make. I just imported those. So even if you don't have Blender skills, you don't have to make anything. A lot of times there's resources. You can buy houses. A lot of people make houses. So I think someone had made those. So I just, I'm using those. They're kind of condos. You don't see them really well. So it's not important that they match exactly. Um, oh, there was a little schoolhouse that is right off of this tee box that people, it's another one room schoolhouse that was the original schoolhouse in Hershey. So that's historic. I want to make that matches exactly. Um, but you can see if you learn some blender skills, you can do all kinds of stuff and you can not only make houses, but you can do things like ball washers and you can make a couple people have made golf carts and beverage carts and even people. Um, so you can do all kinds of really cool stuff. Um, I made these maintenance buildings as well because they are uh, to make those match. That's where they keep all the golf carts and repair them. Tennis courts, now all the tennis courts in these buildings here, again, I didn't make those, but because they're not close and people really don't know what they look like, they're just, I just need to have something there to fill it in from a distance. Um, so those were, I think I bought the tennis courts or someone made those, and then these buildings were something else that someone else made and were generous, generous enough to share. When I am done with this course, I will, I'm probably, well, I definitely am going to post all these buildings for other people to potentially use in, in their courses. Oh, there's another, this barn is actually pretty famous, so I did make this barn as well because that looks, you can see it from the course. So, sorry, I went on and on about this, but that's just a high level intro to Blender.